All right, this is a video day for me because I've already done two, one an hour long ugh, and one uh, 40 minutes. <laughs> so I'm just trying to get through all these. So this one is for my ink journal. I don't think I showed you guys this. So I ordered um, a cover from somebody on Etsy, Abigail Crafts, I believe is what it's called. And um, it's beautiful. So the actual cover, let me just peel this, take this off, is here's the cover. Just beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Kind of an ombre. And then this has etching on it. So it's just beautiful and gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So now let me get it back in here. <laughs> and this is an A6 Hobonichi style cover. Now I must put back together. All right, so, and then let's put these back in here. And I just love it. It's beautiful, I love the feel of it. And this is my um, swatching and doodling journal. So this is where my ink swatch journal went into. And then I got this simple, just a notebook right here. And what I'm using this one for is um, just doodling and maybe some practice writing, that sort of thing. It's gonna be kind of a combination type of uh, situation. So what I do wanna do is I do want to swatch my newest, and I didn't bring a Q-tip. I'm gonna run and get a Q-tip real fast. Man. Okay, so did this last time. I should always have Q-tips in here. I should just put some Q-tips in here in a little Ziploc bag. And then I won't have this constant issue, which is kind of ridiculous. All right, so here is my little thing with all my ink and different things in it. And I have a new color so what I want to do is the new color and I might, um, so it's another Sailor Shikiori color that I got. So I think I have all the colors I like. I've got, you know, I've got in the Shikiori, I've got the... this green, kind of this dark, dark gray. Um, I've also got this red, pinkish red, rose, whatever you want to call it, and this teal. So this is the new one. But before I start, I'm going to lay down a little bit of <laughs> protection for the things, all the things, and this is my dip pen that I'm going to use. That will be, just take it out of here and put it in. This is the Hokoro dip pen by Sailor. And I've got my other things that I use for when I make swatches. So I've already prepped this one and here is the got all the inside things. You guys know I love these things, so I do like to use them. And then this is the, I'll put by the swatching when I do the swatching. So this is she, Shigure, Shigure. I'm gonna, I have no idea how to pronounce it. This is a pretty purple. The one color I still needed and I just because I do love purple very much I just want to move this over a little bit and get this in here and do this 
do this swatch. Oh, what a beautiful purple. Oh my gosh. I do love it. I do. All right. I'm just gonna put this safely over to the side. We don't need a mess, right? All right, so this, let me bottle this up while I write the information. We don't want anything happening. This is Sailor Shikiori. So we'll write that in here. And this color is Shigure, Shigure. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Shigure, Shigure, Shigure. I don't know. <laughs> Bottle. That's all we need to write there anyway. So, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And just let me see. Yeah, it's already dry. That's why I do like doing this, um, swatching that way. But I also swatch this way. So here is the ones I have swatched so far. So this is going to be the new one. And generally what I do then is I just basically take a brush, dip it in there a little bit, and make a circle. So pretty. That's a lot. <laughs> I felt like I didn't have quite enough, but uh, now I do. We're gonna make this a really big circle because it's gonna take forever and a day to dry. Yeah, so, all right. The next thing is I do kind of a splat thing. So just put a dot of it here. I'm gonna cover it up again because oh my gosh the last oops this is me spraying things around and it is something I do tend to do I'm already getting ink ugh, on myself and everywhere else oh my gosh Terry seriously I'm a disaster waiting to happen honestly 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 all right I want it off of here and I want it off of there. This is why you do things with glass. Oh my goodness, Terry. Yeah, let's just wipe this up a little bit before I start doing the whole purpose of this. All right. Is I'm supposed to be taking my this and making a that. <laughs> so it's like an ink splatter. But it's a little wonky. Sorry about that, guys. All right. I think I'm safe. Oh my goodness, I've got not too much ink on my hands, but I do tend to have it in other places, let's just say, because I'm definitely a messy person when it comes to this. All right, and I do have a ink rag. All right, the next thing I wanna do is take the dip pen and write um, what we're using. So this is going to be the Sailor Shikiori Yamadori. And then I have some stuff I always do. So we're going to just dip this in here and dip it far enough so that it's holding some ink in that spot there. This color is so amazing. Sailor. She 
Giori. And I haven't put this in anything yet. I can now because now I've got a converter. Um, what was the color called? Oh, dear. Shigure. 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 And let's see what other things do I do while I'm... Okay, I do this. Oh my goodness. This is lasting quite long for a dip pen. And then right, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. And then one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we'll do a heart. Fill that in and a box and we'll fill that in isn't that nice that ink really lasted a long time so then i just dip my pen and clean it out in water and it is ready for the next time so then you just um pull it out like that and then I put it back in here. Now, this is drying still, but it's, there's a tiny bit of a sheen in there. I can see, oh, I can see it now. There's a gold, a gold sheen. I'm gonna just set that aside and get out my fountain pens, and I really would like to Fill that. Where did I put my sealer? Here we go. I got um, a couple of sailor cartridges. Um, what do you call them? Those pins. Because I did really want to use, like, I think in here, I need to do like what I'm currently using. This is got that beautiful teal in it. Um, I kind of like to fill it now and get make sure it's full all the way, but I'm going to leave it. And then I've got this. I thought I was going to see how much I still had in the cartridge of this one because... This is kind of a, I think this is a purple, and there's still half a cartridge. And the cartridge um, is the same. It's the same one. So to me, it doesn't make sense to necessarily change the color that's in there. Um, the other option, and this I have a new cartridge of blue, or that what was in that? That was blue in the other one, that beautiful blue. This one, this cartridge is still full, and I believe this is the green color. Because I had these cartridges for this particular brand. This one still has quite a bit in it as well. So I'm gonna wait. Um, I got two Sailor cartridges, and so I will wait to fill those up. There's no need to um, at this point to do that. So I'm just going to leave them. I'm just going to leave the converters in here and maybe throw this in here as well. So I've got it on hand. Yeah, because as, as far as cartridges go, I've still got these Shikiori. I've got all these Sailor colors and I will use these um, just switching out in one of the pens and then I've got two cartridges converters that I can use and then I'm also trying to use up some of my pilot stuff and this this one goes in the this Wordsworth which I keep um, other 
I've got a cartridge in there, and that's how I prefer to use it. So maybe I can double up and use those cartridges for something else. So, and this is a preppy, and this has a cartridge in it too. And I can't remember what, I can't remember what ink is in this one. Let me look. I don't even know how much ink I have left. Oh, there's a dark, it's a darker color, but there's still quite a bit left. So I'm not at the point where I'm gonna be switching colors on anything yet. So I'm not really worried about that. Yeah, so let's put this away and see if that swatch is dry. And now I think I can put this one away. It looks nice and dry as well. I don't want to put something away and it's not dry because, you know, that can cause issues. So we don't want issues. All right, we'll put that away. That's all happy. Let's bring this back and my straw is drying. I need to clean that out. Um, I do need to get in some Q-tips. Obviously, I need to get Q-tips in here. Let's put that back in the water. Let's go ahead and take this. I like to take these little stickers and I'm gonna put it right here. And I will keep this for something else. Put that away. And I think this is probably dry. Yep, all dry. Yeah, I'm very happy with that color. I love that purple. All right, you guys, I think I'm done recording for a while. So thank you for watching. I do want to do another tape, like recording of uh, a collage journal that I'm starting. So I might do that soon too. We'll see. Bye.